Today I'm going to show you how to make a pure white background in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. We got a cool episode for you. It's actually super useful. Basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to take a backdrop and turn it into pure white. And we're also going to throw in pure black as a little bonus for you. Now it's super useful because a lot of the time you're going to take an image whether it's of a, a, a person, let's say they're on like a pure white backdrop or a white wall or something like that. You go to put it online or you go to print it and then you realize this is not pure white. It's very close to white, but it's not pure white. And you'll see like a border around your image, which is totally annoying. So I'm gonna show you guys some really great ways to actually make those whites or light colors into pure white, how to check them using mathematical terms, well, just a threshold adjustment layer in Photoshop, and then how to see them on white in Photoshop. And I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the border around your image so you can see exactly how they're actually gonna look when you upload them to a web page or print them out for your portfolio or deliver them to your client. So the image we're starting off with today is by Thomas Caesar and it's a really cool image. It was submitted to our contest and I thought this is a perfect example because this is photographed on milk and obviously we want this to be pure white but right now it's pretty far from pure white. So the first thing we're going to do to kind of see if we can check how, how do we see what's pure white and pure black. The best way to do so is with a threshold adjustment layer. So I'm going to go to my adjustment layers and we're going to go down to threshold. Now, threshold is not an adjustment layer that you actually use to adjust your images most of the time. It's more for like checking things. So with the threshold layer, I'm going to bring this to the left. And as I do, you're going to see it's basically going to reveal all the dark areas in my photos. OK, so the dark areas are going to be on the left and the light areas are on the right. Now, ideally, once you take this all the way to the right here, what you should see is that all the way on the right here, you should see that these areas are not going to be black. If they're black, if you have areas that are black, when you go all the way to the right in this slider, what that means is that you don't have any pure white. Here, I'll show you. I'll just create a new layer underneath this, and I'll grab my brush tool, and I'll paint with pure white right here on my image. And as I paint with pure white right here on my image, we can see now it's actually showing up as pure white because on my threshold adjustment layer, I went all the way to the right there. And we can see that little spike of white right there as well. It's just appearing, showing us that we do have white on our histogram. Now, if I make that invisible, we can see obviously that didn't help out our image, but that's how you're gonna check if you have pure white in your image. Okay, so that threshold layer, we're gonna leave on and we're gonna come back to it in just a little bit. So the first thing I wanna do, obviously we have a lot of area here that's not pure white, but I don't wanna lose a lot of this detail. So it's a little bit tricky. Now, first thing, I, this is supposed to be milk, right? And it's got like a little bit of a bluish tone right now. I can just use my color selector and click here and we can see it's actually like a bluish color. So I'm gonna grab a hue saturation adjustment layer. So whenever you're trying to make something into pure white or pure black, the first a great step is just to take your saturation, drag it all the way down to zero. Now, in this case, I don't want that to be visible everywhere, obviously, because I've got a strawberry here. So I want to grab a, on my layer mask and I want to paint black on my layer mask over top of the strawberry. And we're going to do so even over top of these areas, the milk, and things like that. There we go. And then we'll bring our flow down to about 20 percent. And I'm going to choose a nice soft brush and I'm just going to allow a little bit more color to come back into our image. So we're focusing that color here on the center of our image. All right. There we go. So we have a, a black and white border, but it should look like a little bit of color there in the middle, but it should look pretty natural. So if I hold Alt or Option, that's what my layer mask looks like. It's definitely black where I want the color to be. So that's going to make sure the black and white, the hue saturation that I brought down to zero doesn't show up there. And then I'm kind of fading it out. OK, so now that we have that on there, it's time to take our image and make it white. Well, the first thing we're going to do here is we have to kind of figure out how are we going to do this? Because if I just take a curves adjustment layer and crank it up to the right or something like that, you're, it's going to just make our entire image brighter. It's, it's pretty much just going to ruin it. So like a curves adjustment layer and I could just take this here and slide it up. That's not exactly going to give like here we might be at pure white here, but it's kind of ruined the rest of our image. So we're going to do a couple different techniques and I'm going to show you guys just some really great ways to do this. 
First thing we're going to do, let's delete that curves, is I'm gonna make a new layer and we're gonna use our brush tool and I'm gonna paint with white on our brush tool right here around our edges. Now, the big deal I found is that you wanna make sure that you take care of your edges. You wanna make sure that your edges are pure white whenever you're going to be doing something like this. That way, if you put it on an image or put it on like a, a website or something like that that has a pure white, you won't see that border. So we're gonna make sure that it's pure white, especially here in the backdrop, and then we're just gonna allow that to kind of fade into the rest of our image. Okay, so painting some pure white there on the border. Now we're gonna be using a lot of blend diff. And what blend diff does is it allows us this layer to only be visible where the underlying layer is either lighter or darker. So if I double click right here on this layer, there we go. What I can do now is hold Alt or Option and say don't be visible where the underlying layer is darker. So going from the left to the right here, what it's gonna do is it's going to allow me, you can see like my shadow details and things like that are coming back but I'm not gonna go far enough to where it doesn't turn back to white. So we're just gonna do this a couple of times. Now, that's not a completely necessary step for this first go round, but the next time we need to use it so it's gonna blend in a little bit more. So we'll show you again. I'm gonna grab my white paintbrush and we're just gonna paint this in. And then this time I'm gonna blend it a little bit more so we're able to see a little bit more of the darks. So again, the idea here is to get pure white on the borders and as you're coming in, you can get it lighter and lighter and lighter, but it doesn't have to be pure, pure white. Mostly on the borders is where you want it. Okay, we're gonna double click here again, go to our layer style, Let's just arrange some things around so you can see. And I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and go from the left to the right. And what you can see is it brings back your shadow detail. So like here, this, we don't have any detail in the shadows, right? It just looks like I grabbed a white brush and painted it in. Hold Alt or Option and click on our underlying layer and drag this in. And now you can start to see the shadow detail, but anywhere where it's not our dark shadow is gonna go all the way to white. Okay, so we're already looking pretty good. Let's turn on our threshold. And now we can see, let's just double click here. I'm gonna bring this all the way to the right. So if you're doing blacks, which we're gonna do in a minute, you'd want this to be all the way to the left, but we're doing white, so we're gonna go all the way to the right. And basically your goal here is to make sure that around the border of your image, you don't have any black, like that you shouldn't see that fine line because if you see a line here, it's gonna show up when you upload it to the web or when you print or something like that. Okay, so let's create a new layer underneath there. And now I'm just gonna, again, we're gonna paint with white just on the border here. That's about what I'm looking for. I just wanna make sure that black does not hit the edge, okay? If it does, it's going to show up as a little bit of a line there and we never, never want that. All right, there we go. So I can look around the entire image and now I can see that there's no black hitting the edge of my image. So that's all I need. I don't need to paint white all the way in, just as long as it's not on the border, we're good to go. So we can turn threshold back off and this looks pretty good. So we can see we still have a lot of detail in our image. Now I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit more because we do have, we want this image to be light and right now I feel like the strawberry is actually a little bit too dark. So we're gonna take our curves adjustment layer Gonna brighten that up a little bit. There we go, hit Command. There we go, let's just close this up. We can either inverse this or, you know what, I don't think that looks too bad. All right, so the big trick here was use that threshold adjustment layer. You can click on this to see no white enters the border. And then these, using these layers, just basically painting white on the background and then using Blend Diff, check that out. I could even probably go in here and allow a little bit more of the darks to show up. All right, there we go. Cool, so allowing a little bit more of the darks to show up using Blend If is going to allow us to have an image. Now, we see it with the threshold and I'm telling you guys, okay, cool, it's gonna look perfect on white, but let's show you how to actually check that. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna right click here on our background and I'm gonna go down to custom and this is how you can choose the color of your background. So again, right click here, go down to custom and then it's gonna say, it's doing blue right now, but if you right click and go to select custom color, just drag this all the way up into the left and hit okay, it's gonna be white. So we're almost there. This is pretty good, but we've got this little border that appears in Photoshop. This is just part of your preferences. So to get rid of that border, just go to Photoshop, preferences, and down to interface. There we go. And we have our preferences here. This where it says standard screen mode, full screen with menus, full screen. We're gonna take our border and we're just gonna put none on each of these. So we're gonna hit none on each of those and hit okay. 
and now you can see the border is completely gone. So this is not all the way, you know, our image does not extend out into infinity, but it looks like it does. So if you were to upload this to a, a Flickr page or, you know, your own port personal portfolio or whatever it is, it would look like the white just extends all the way out and that's exactly what you want. So again, using hue saturation to knock down the saturation of those surrounding areas is a big one and then paint white and then just use blend diff so it only shows up where the underlying layer is lighter. Let's show you guys the before and after because this is actually, this image it wasn't really that close to white to begin with and the closer it is to white to begin with, the less you have to actually destroy of your image or alter to make it go to completely white. So this was the before, obviously not white. This is the after. We did lose some detail, but I can still see the general gist of the image. And I think it looks great. This is perfect to put on any type of web page or whatever have you. And you can see there is no border. I can right click down here and change this back to like a light gray so you can see the border of the image. Okay, cool. So we learned how to do white. Let's learn how to do black. It's basically the same idea. I'm gonna hit F for full screen here. We're gonna to go to our threshold again. Let's go down to threshold. Now, instead of going to the right, you can see there's no pure white in this image either. Well, actually, maybe there is. There is a little bit on the spoon there. Okay, we can see going off to the left, a little more of the lights are appearing, appearing, appearing. And now if I go all the way to the left, we see the image goes all the way to white. So it's like, it basically tells us there's no pure black in this image either. And you can see that'll ring true. If I make a black layer underneath it and start painting black, you can see it actually does show up as black. So that's basically what it's saying. If you go all the way to the left and there's nothing there, that means there's no pure black in your image either. Now let's just say on the bottom part of the image, let's say this is what we want the bottom part of this image. We just want that to be a pure black, right? Let's say the top part, it, it doesn't matter, whatever, for whatever reason. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this layer and basically I'm going to move it right until I start to see some detail. There we go. I'm seeing some detail here. And now I know that this is about where I want to start to add my blacks enter in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my background layer. We're going to put a levels adjustment layer right on top of that. And I'm going to grab my black point and we're just going to bring this up. There we go. Something right about there. And now I'm able to see that that is pure black right on the bottom. We might have a couple touch, touch up areas, but it is pure black because I can see with my threshold adjustment layer. So now if I just wanted to make sure that this was pure black on the bottom, that would do it, my levels adjustment layer. But you can see if I turn this levels adjustment layer on and off, I can barely see any change in my image, right? Like they pretty much look the exact same. So that's why having this threshold layer is so important because it allows you to see, let's just take this all the way back to the left there. All right, all the way back to the left. It allows you to see what the difference is that you make with your levels or your curves adjustment layer. There we go. So we know that in threshold that we have pure blacks all the way and we can easily see those as visible with our image. All right, let's make that invisible now. If you wanted to use your layer mask on this, you could. Let's just say we wanted to you know, make sure you, this was not visible over here. You wanted to make sure there was detail in the spoon and things like that. Now, again, to check this, just right click and instead of, I don't know why they don't include white in this list. It's like they have black and three variations of gray. Why not just put white? But Whatever, black is nice and easy. So we're gonna click on black and there you can see your image on pure black. So this is what it will look like on pure black. Now, you probably wouldn't even see a difference between this version and that version, but now I know from looking at our threshold level that for sure, 100% with confidence that the bottom of my image is pure black. So it's a great way just to check whether it's pure black or not, whether you can see it or not, now we know for sure that it is pure black, and then we do the same thing for pure white. That's it for today's episode, guys. I hope this helps you out. I've run into this tons of time when I'm uploading images on the internet, and I think they're pure white, and I'll put them out there, and I'm like, oh God, that's not white at all. This is a really great way to make sure you check those out. Use that threshold layer and blend if it's a great way to make sure you maintain highlight and shadow detail when you're trying to make something all the way white or all the way black. Thanks so much for watching Flurn. If you like this episode, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can do it by clicking on your screen. Right now, we'll put a big button up so you don't have to think. <laughs> Leave us a comment down below. If there's anything you'd like to learn in Photoshop or photography, we'd love to know. And be sure to share this with your friends. That's how we grow as a community and keep sending you these great videos. Thanks again, guys, and we'll Flurn you later. Bye, everyone. Time to get some breadsticks. I'm hungry. Nice. Thank you.